and welcome Aquarians. Hi, this is a reading for you. Happy birthday this month. I'm behind a little bit, so please forgive me. All right, Aquarius, the reading is going to be for you. It's just a little bonus message, and I just wanted to read something to you. In the sweetness of friendship, let there be laughter and sharing of pleasures, for in the do of little things, the heart finds its morning and is refreshed. Khalil Gibran. I thought you might like that. All right. Give me just a quick second here. There we go. Almost forgot I have to light my uh, candles. <laughs> There's a reason for lighting your candles when you're reading. It's for psychic protection. All right. Aquas. Thank you so much for being here. Sending you love and healing energy. Receive that. Receive that. Happy birthday. No matter what your birthday is. So this is your reading, Aquarius. I, pr I appreciate you being here, okay? Calling on the divine. The most high. To bring his presence in here. We're using the Star Code Astral Oracle by Heather Rohn Robbins for you, okay? Uh, show me Aquarius's status at this time as a collective of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Crosswatchers are welcome here. However, this is focused on my Aquarians. I thank you for everything you do. And we're going to be sticking with you for 20 new years. Hello. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, here it goes. Oh, wow, we're having some really interesting energies. Tell me what's up. Tell me what's affecting Aquarius the greatest right at this moment, and see if we can get tap into some things. I don't know. Calling upon the uh, energies of air, fire, water, earth, ether, Holy Spirit, the Most High Divine, and righteous energy. Only holy protection is allowed. All right, everything else will be sent back instantly. Don't toy with my guides. Here goes. Aquarius. Juno, partnership. Number 31. Three is about communicating for a new start. Look. That looks like the two of cups to me. Can you see it? I, I don't, my camera is way up high. Look here, you guys. Oh, and you're not only that, but that is your color. Wow. All right, spirit. Let's have a talk about that. Pull out my cards, my tarot in one to land. Well, because they're fun. I want to, uh, that's beautiful. Aquas, okay. We have communicating about new love. We have the Gemini card for some of you. Another fellow air sign, and they are communicators. All right, three, three. You're number 11. Oh, that's two. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So three and three, communicating about something in the, oh, about structure. Look at this, Saturn. So as far as I'm concerned, you yourselves are communicating to the Most High about a new start. You could be talking to a Gemini. You could be creating a foundation with a Gemini for some reason or another. Um, I do not know. I know that two is making a connection and four working with someone else, making a directive move or four could also be the heart, the grounding, the family, the future, the business. Um, can I say twin flame? All right. That's what I'm seeing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Really? I got chill. Look, when I work with God, right? My the Holy Spirit, my guys, what happens is when I really, really hit on something, I get really tingly elbows and tingly knees, and I just got them. Aquarius, I want some tarot to show me. Tell me about this Juno. Juno, we're talking twin flame energy. That's wild. All right, the person that, um, the energy with you right now is that <clears throat> you seem to be very busy at the moment. You seem to be moving a lot. You seem to be moving forward. You seem to be uh, 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 
doing things swiftly and then getting out. I do only what I have to do and then I got to get out. But there's a lot of passion behind this. What is this? A hangman. Hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. Why is a hangman here? Learning lessons about not being a player. Going into Herman. About not being a player. About the energy that has to be altered and you're also in your mindset <clears throat> you might be dealing with a Gemini or have Gemini in your chart and with that you might have a little dual characteristic Gemini's with a male female uh, one day they're they're heavy on their goals and the next day they're talking about them you know chatting and that's what I get for Gemini now <clears throat> This is somebody who's weighing options, and it could very well be that somebody you're dealing with could be a Pisces, a Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, Spirit says that's true. You need to see everybody for who they are. Tell me about that awakening, that alertness. Yeah, you saw that somebody was in competition with you as well. Okay. Saturn is the devil. The laws, the rules, the government, somebody coming down on you, something that has structure. is keep. You have an alertness, though. You're very aware. You could be getting harassed by a Gemini. Masculine. Somebody in charge. Somebody in the government. Somebody in a family line. Somebody powerful. Tell me about this emperor. This emperor is not... Whoever this is, okay, I'm going to tell you something for some of you. I'm giving you red flag, okay? There's someone that is jealous of your business and your talent in the background, but they don't have any strength. There's no power behind what this emperor is doing. There's only mental conflict and gossip and talk. Tell me why. Death card. They got death coming to them. Aquarius, somebody that's doing um, magic on you, lying, communicating, male, female, lover, friend, family, co-worker, and somebody you may not even know. If they're doing this bullshit, they're out. God says you're out. I'm a, they got to change if they want to be with you. This is someone you know from the past. They're, uh, they're, they listen to competition. They listen to the devil. They didn't have any strength. They were an emperor. They could have been your divine person, male or female. Tell me what this person is doing at this time. Heavily burdened. Nine. They got their guard up real high while they're learning this hard lesson from God. Yep. They're keeping some things to themselves. They might have spiritual qualities. They might actually be somebody with gifts, but they're a bitch. And a bitch with gifts is not safe. Okay. Let's talk about it. Yeah. You have a Gemini. Heavy. Some of you. I don't know if this is your reading or not. I really hope that I'm tapping into the right energy for you. But the truth is, if it doesn't relate, don't hate, right? Um, take it, though, if it's yours and say, yeah, this is mine. This way, you agree with me and I can look further into it for you. If, if you do feel like this is your reading, but I don't know because I'm reading to a lot of Aquarians. Here we go, love. I want to know a little bit more about this hermit and hangman. That's like somebody was put on hold. They could have been a love soulmate. They could have been a lover. It could be somebody, but they're put on hold. They're being made to hang out. And because they're embarrassed, they're, they're pulled themselves back. This is a soulmate twin flame. Yep, it is. You better. And, and they feel out in the cold because they can't hide their secrets from you anymore. This is deception. This is communi ill communication taking from someone, being envious of their own mate. You want to talk about low vibe and BS? Envious of their own mate, their own their own friend. Instead of building you up, they're competing with you. They're competing with you. Tell me why. Communication, you could be working online. You could be a minister. You could be a, a, a something. Some work like this. You could travel for work. You could um, go and put on, spirit, uh, you know, Healing work for people, uh, programs this person wants to outdo you. Yeah. But their fortune's in reverse because of the way that they're coming towards you. 
this demonic or whatever this energy is, five of swords is whoever that is, uh, huh, they don't match your they don't match your hood spot. They're about to experience a tower moment because of what they've done. Tell me more. Yeah. They thought they could pay someone to do what? Conflict? To bring you down. Ten of Swords. Competition. Is this competition for love? It's competition for an empress. Oh, my babies. This is really bullshit. This person and your life. You're uh you're going through a cycle right now. It's going to change as long as you don't deal with these people. Because God's bringing you new love. And he might bring it in really, really fast. And it could be that one of these people is really your real love. And they will come in real fast. Yeah. But then you got this other person here who's watching your money, watching your business, and fighting against you energetically. But you, my dears, are going to have an option. You have to follow your heart. Make sure your heart's in the right place. So this is crap. And I'm sorry that you got, you're going through crap. But I'm right here to see what's going on. What else? Yeah. This person, um, what's going to happen to this relationship in the future? Show me spirit. Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. I want to find out who that person really is over here. Look, healing. They came out for you. The sun. You might meet a Leo that's going to change everything, or this is healing. Look, and a brand new start. That could be an Aries. Yeah, for some of you. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. And the three of wands, and then the ace of coins, and then shawang, a new start. Look at this. So with all this shit going on over here, keep your mind fixed on, on divine. Keep your heart light. This is something you went through with somebody you thought was their soulmate. I want to tell you what I really think. I think it was this person, and I think this person was a doppelganger, weak ass, um, narcissist, argumentative user. And you put them out in the cold. Right? Even though this is your energy, this is what happened to you. Okay? You put them out in the cold. The people that could that you could have put out, which deserved it, could be Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Aries. Uh, uh, let's see. Let me see. A Cancer or a Gemini. I don't know why I see Taurus in this hangman. Twelve. Taurus. Hmm. Um, yeah. Pain. Fire sign. Jibber jabber. Emotional conflict. Everybody in your business. Nobody knows who started it. Nobody knows how to end it. The only way to end something like that is to get away from it. Um, someone making offers to buy, to bring you down with money so they could get your money. Okay. Uh, the tower could be a Scorpio, but I'm not sure. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the mind that isn't right, their fortune being in reverse, and they're keeping that to themselves, and they're heavily burdened by it. This is someone you do know, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe. They're a Scorpio. You have the strength card in reverse. They don't have much power going on for them. And they they were an emperor. Are they an emperor now? The victory card came out in reverse. And these two are in reverse. Two of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Somebody's Cancer Scorpio Pisces was a real letdown. You thought they were your soulmate twin flame, but they were actually sent by the devil. Saturn. Do you understand? We call those false twin flames. Some of you dealt with a false twin flame and they jacked with you and you went through this lesson and you learned this lesson. You learned this lesson. Look at, look at this. 
communication is clear, you've made a decision, you're in your communication place, you're trying to find where you need to go next, what you need to do about your, 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 you're an empress, you're a magician, so you have multiple skills to communicate, you have the eight of wands, which is fast moving communication, you have the seven of cups, which is desire, going from your heart, Speaking your truth quickly, if you have an opportunity coming up, don't hesitate. Go forward quickly with your confidence. You have some knowledge and truth that somebody needs. You also have love and positive energy that somebody needs or may be coming towards you. You've gone through a cycle. You're going through a new one. You've got someone who's willing to do the work with you or offer you a job or negotiate money. You've been looking forward to this. You've been putting your energy into it for a long time. You are waiting for this to happen so you can get this beautiful new start and the, you can go through your healing process. Then, of course, this comes forward, which is a new start. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Wands and the Temperance card. Amazing. Seven of Wands, keeping your guard up, watching your back, not letting that shit happen again, keeping yourself on guard, speaking your truth, always willing to use that sword, if somebody comes at you in a frivolous manner, you're going to, I'm, I'm done. Fast as lightning. Show me who is coming towards them. That's what you've kind of been dealing with. You didn't know there was a doppelganger bitch in the background, I bet. But we're fighting them for you as well. And the Holy Spirit is fighting for you. If you're an upright person and you're running a business, you have a YouTube channel or something, we're fighting them, just so you know. They're, 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 they're bots. They're copycats and they're wannabes. Pick me, pick me, pick me. But they're failing because you guys are natural. Yeah, you are in the. You are working on your your stability. Tell me more about it. The angels and guides are with you. Virgo, the hermit, digesting truth, making putting things in order, making sure you understand what you really want. Following through on that and taking action. Master number 22. Wow. Mars taking action using that sword. All right. Tell me about the person coming towards them. Change is coming towards you. Uranus. It's in the stars, baby. It's in the stars, baby. Sagittarius. Okay, that may be who you need at this time. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting, my lovelies. Let me, uh, I want to see something. All right, I've got these really cool cards. I want to see something, uh, Aquarius, about this Sagittarius. Show me their character. Show me their character. This person is going to be really helpful to your life. They have the same. I feel like you're communicating with a Sagittarius. You will, or you will be. They're passionate. They know about sustainability. They probably are going to be helping you go through this change um, and shift. Okay. We have Avenger. Desiring to balance the scales of justice, righteousness on behalf of society or oneself. What else for this person? Priest. Hmm. We like that. Facilitates spiritual commitments. Serves as a channel of spiritual energy. Wow, you guys, you know damn well this is right, don't you? I do, for some of you. All right. And then, engineer. Kind of like you guys. You tend to be engineer types. You tend to get things put together, right? Um, ability to get creative and give creative energy a practical expression. Talent for designing resolutions to come in dilemmas. I'm liking this new energy for you. Spirit, Isis, give me an oracle for my beautiful Aquarians. Thank you so much for liking the video. So that it can circulate. Thank you so much for joining me. You can get many readings if you join my channel. I go live 
on Sundays at 2. And if you really need an answer, but you don't want to spend a fortune to get a tarot reading or a channeled message from God, well, tap in. I'm here on, on at 2 o'clock on Sundays, and you can tap in. And for your monthly donation of $2.99, which is almost nothing, um, you can get your readings done like that. And I'll lay out as many as I need. Okay, here it is. This one here comes out. The Eye of Horus for you. The Eye of Horus brings divine perception, protection, and insight. You're gifted with certain spiritual abilities, including divine sight. And they are awakening and growing. Now, you have much divine support and protection so that you can grow your abilities and serve others with your divine gifts. Trust your perception and know that you are divinely protected. I told you, I knew it. And we have magic and ritual. Effect in the external world can be created through inner practice. Heart-centered ritual can support your inner path in the physical world. You are encouraged to enhance your power with regular practice. As you go in growing grace, love, and ability and wisdom, applying your inner beauty to transform your outer world. Look at you. You're amazing. Happy birthday, loves. This is not a monthly reading. It's a bonus reading. And it's because I love you guys. You've inspired me this week. You've been generous with me this week. And I'm so grateful for that. And by the way, um, Honeys, I love you so much. And the reason is all of the major magical events, healing, shifting events for me have always been in your season. Oh, yes. All of the good stuff has always come through Aquarius season. I'm super grateful. As far as the east is to the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Psalms 103, 12. How beautiful. Thank you, darlings. Liking, subscribing, hitting the all bell, sharing, commenting, associating. If this is your reading, claim it in the comments. This is my reading. I, I am into this and I'm learning. I've got a whole new future coming up and it's going to be, I'm going to help the world. And you probably already are, but I'm here protecting you in the background. I thank you and thank God for you. Namaste.